What's up guys? So I'm out here at a buddy's uh, little spot and he's cutting a tree down. I was giving him a little bit of help. And since I was out here and I had the space available to me, I thought I would do a little bit of an unboxing video. I've never done, I, well, maybe I have, but I thought I would set this thing up. So this is an Ozark Trail multi-purpose tarp shelter. And I don't know if you can kind of tell, they've got it set up a couple different ways on here. So you can kind of do it that way. You can set it up more like a regular uh, tent and you can see a couple different things here and how they're using that. So uh, it's 12 foot by 12 foot. And the reason that I bought this was more for, I'd like to somehow attach it to the back of the truck, uh, attach one part of it maybe to the front crossbar on the roof rack there, and then run it off the back here and have it come down on the side so it covers the window. So if I'm out in rain or something like that, I can still have the windows open on the sides and even still have the tailgate open, something like that, and keep the rain off myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and I guess take this thing out of the box and we're gonna get it set up. I think I'll probably just kind of try to set it up the normal way first, and then we'll see how uh, it sets up on the truck. So I also bought these Ozark Trail uh, tarp bungee cords. So we'll, uh, I think those will help us attach it to the roof a lot easier. All right. So let's see what's in this box here. It's all in a nice bag. Some instructions or something. Got a little bag of instructions or a little sheet of instructions here. And then the rest of it is in this bag. It's got a carrying handle on the back of it. Um, so I picked this one up really specifically because it was available locally. It came with, tent, it came with the poles. Uh, which was a big thing. There were some of these tarps available at like uh, Cabela's locally, but they didn't come with any poles. So uh, I guess I could tell you this says it includes two seven foot poles and they have large foot pads. So they must just click together, but we'll go ahead and try to take all of this out. Without losing all of it. All right. Just the bag there. Just kind of tied up I guess so it sticks in the bag easier try not to lose those either stick those in the bag now just so we don't and then okay so this is the tarp itself right here we've got a bag that tarp holds and then we've got some stakes here don't know if it came with like any line they do have some paracord in the truck, so if it didn't, at least we've got some. So, got no line in here, tie down line. So I'm probably going to need some unless it's in that other bag. But we've got two metal clips and uh, metal stakes here. Which are flat on the bottom. And then we've got six of these red ones plastic ones. Go ahead and set that stuff down here. Try not to lose that. Let's open this thing of poles up here. These all probably stick together right away. So ideally I'd like to get like a 270 degree awning to hang on a roof rack, but I also am kind of a cheap kind of guy, so I don't really want to spend the money on that right now. Yeah. Oh, just a little pack of the stuff that you're supposed to eat. No, don't eat that, guys. Okay, so you've got two poles here. Oh, and they're they're like regular tent poles. That's really nice. That is really nice. I was wondering how they were going to stick together. So, oh, there's a plastic foot that just slides over the bottom. So, I might have to glue that on maybe. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It does have this foot on the bottom of it. The only kind of bummer part about this, I guess, uh, now that I look at it, is there. I was hoping they'd be more adjustable. There's going to be no way to adjust this pole up and down, so 
that might be something that you need to consider uh, with this setup, but I was happy that the poles were included. So uh, I would be a little bit happier if this actually stuck on there, but that's nothing I can't fix with a little bit of tape. So we'll get this one set up, I guess. That's the same way, yeah, it just slides on and off, which is not a big deal. You might be somewhere where you don't need it, where it doesn't work right. So I'll probably just wrap some uh, tape around the bottom of this until it fits snug on here, but yet yeah, it's still removable just in case, I guess. So those are set up. And then we've got the tarp itself here. Oh, no, there is, there is plenty of, uh, oh, it's, it's ropes and they've got like their own storage bags. For the ends of the rope, I guess. They're already attached. Huh. I didn't expect that, so that's kind of nice. I'll try to just kind of fold this thing out. I don't know if there's top or bottom. There's got to be a name somewhere. Okay, that's the bottom of it. Here's the top. So the ropes. The paracord just tied on, so that would easily come off, and then you could store it in this bag. It looks like it's got like the hitch, hitch lines. So I guess we'll see if we can get this thing set up. I might need to look at the instructions a little bit. We'll just get it spread out, I guess. So it says Ozark Trail right here, assuming that's the top. And looks like you have six lines and six little baggies. Oh, and then, okay. So you have metal grommets in the corners and on two sides, you have metal grommets here that the top of those things will stick into. So uh, two sides have three grommets and then the other sides just have tie-off points. And there are two tie-off points here also, so there is a total of uh, five on this side. And then on this side, there are four. So instead of having one in the middle, you just have two evenly spaced out. But uh, this should work all right. I guess let's kind of try to figure out how to get this thing set up. I know it's probably not difficult, but I've also never done this before. And uh, there's nothing. Oh, there's easily instructions sewn into the carry bag. That's not instructions right here. So inside your bag, you've got different instructions on how to set this up if you guys can see those let's kind of see what it says uh, recommends it is advisable to use seam sealer to coat all exposed seams should only apply that to the inside seams now it recommends two people so i guess we're going to figure out if i can do this on my own I think it would be much easier to do it by myself if I just put it on the back of the truck. But I'd like to show you guys it set up regularly here.
set up. Uh, there are more tie-off points, obviously. So there would definitely be tie-off points. Like I said, there's a tie-off point here and here, so you could stretch that out tight. But basically, it's set up and it would work just like it sits. I could definitely adjust that side so it's not as floppy, but there we go. And it's probably not stretched quite, quite as far as it should be right there. It's also nice that these little bags are on your lines here so that as you're walking around, you can kind of see where those are at. Yeah, admittedly, it's not set up perfect, but you guys get the idea. So guys, now that I've set it up that way, oh, and you do have these two extra, I would probably recommend if you're gonna have other lines coming out to get some more stakes, have some extra stakes, you could use these to uh, secure the poles to the ground. There are some holes in the feet on those. Uh, but now I'm gonna take this down and I'm going to see if I can attach it to the back of the truck. And we'll see how that works for me. I think this should be, uh, I think this should be a little bit easier to do. So we'll see how this works. there we go uh, admittedly it's not set up perfect that was the first time and uh, I guess let me take you off the tripod there we go guys um, now that I look at it if I were to set it up into the rain I would probably want the attachment point in the middle here so it brings water off both sides uh, but this is nice this side because you was tightened up a little bit better but you guys get the general idea of what i'm going for here and it fits right on there i guess let me uh unlock the back here and open the window up and show you now, i don't think i'm gonna have too much trouble with it these edges are all rounded and this is gonna hit first as i open it up but that is also something to take into consideration as you're doing this Oh, that's not a problem at all. Actually helps out quite a bit. Let's just pop that open. So, nothing fancy, $40 at Walmart. Uh, I need to make some adjustments to it for it to fit perfectly, but we'll wait until I'm actually out camping to kind of see how I want it to work. Uh, but the main goal was to kind of cover up the side windows. And these are the windows that open, so now that now, if it was raining, I could easily have this window open uh, kind of as much as I want it because it comes, the window only comes all the way to here. And this is out past that. And then like you can see up here, I just attached it with those bungee balls. There's just two of them up there. I'll probably do a third one. And it is flapping in the wind a little bit, but I don't have it set up perfectly or tied down perfectly. However, I am very satisfied with that result. Uh, at camp, I would definitely probably have a, these two tied off. But I'm satisfied with that. That's gonna work great. That will help a lot. You know, if I'm out in a snowstorm, I know snow is coming, I might set that up. Uh, or rain, I'm going to set that up. I mean, it's great for shade also. Uh, but if it's raining, I could still come out here and hopefully cook something. I'm not just stuck in the back there. I could sit on the tailgate 
and kind of enjoy the view a little bit better. I am gonna go ahead and get some of that, uh, the waterproofer that it recommended and spray it down, but this is great. It's really simple. Comes with poles, comes with line, uh, comes with stakes, and a carrying bag, all from Walmart for $40. Uh, I'm a big fan of cheap stuff, so that works great. I'm satisfied with that. I think that should last. The tarp seems decent. Uh, you could replace it with other size tarps. Use different size tarp if you wanted to and use these poles. Uh, like I said, I am kind of bummed that they aren't adjustable, but for the price, I'm not mad about it at all. This should work great. So, Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the review of the Ozark Trail Tarp Shelter. I'll leave a link to it down below where you could buy it from Walmart's website, I guess. So stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.